Hi, this is Beth Raps with Raising Clarity, and I'm going to show you how to not hate your email in this very short video. If, in fact, you don't hate your email, you don't need to watch this video. Okay, we're going to jump right in. This video is going to be in two parts, even though it's very short. The first part, I'm going to teach you how to do some triage, and in the second part, I'm going to teach you what to do with the very um, perniciously difficult stuff that you are getting in your inbox. Number one, I'm gonna assume you're a really smart person and you already know what to do with two kinds of email. And I'm just gonna help you isolate the third kind that's causing you trouble. So the first kind are um, what I could politely call pointless email. And I'm sure you know what to do with them, you just delete them. And you have my blessing to delete them if you need someone's blessing to feel like a good polite person and still delete pointless Email. Okay. The second kind of email that I also figure you probably know what to do with when you triage is yes, no email. Yes, please. No, thank you. Now, you might hear have a little bit of trouble. This might be a little bit of a sticking point. It's about self-image, ego attachment. And so you might be attached to feeling like a good person who says yes to everything. Don't do that. Here are some blog posts on learning to say no. No, 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 no. You need to learn to say no. Now, there's also times you just need to learn to say yes and say yes, thank you. Yes, please, thank you. Okay, that takes care of two kinds of email in your triage. And triage does have the word three in it, which makes it an extremely useful word for this video. The emails that are neither pointless nor yes, no emails. And I wanna suggest that here again, what is making your life difficult and your inbox much fuller than you would like and I say this as a person who has a zero inbox. I do want to say that. Um, this is a method that I use, is I set those emails aside. And I set them aside in a folder called follow-up. You can call yours whatever you want. I suggest you call it something positive. You need to create a bucket of time. You need to carve out a chunk of time, probably every three days. If you have a traditional work week, or Tuesday and Thursday, and go through your folder and sit with the emails and watch what comes up. So first of all, you need to use it as a mindfulness time. What is it inside you that is making it difficult? If it's an ego attachment and you need to feel like a good person, that's one self-observation. You need to feel like a good person, but you really wanna say no to whatever it is, or you really wanna say yes to whatever it is and you can't, that is, a cause of legitimate emotional concern, and it's okay to feel all the feelings about that. So first of all, give yourself a minute to feel the feelings, and that will immediately help you raise some clarity. Now, if you are having a lot of inner conflict, you might have used for um, a technique, a practice that I call the Council of Selves, and I will put that here as well as at the end of the videos. A council of selves is basically an inner dialogue, and I suggest that you do a very simple council of selves when you come across an email that you can't answer right away. Using the time that you've set aside, and you need to set aside enough time to do this, it can take five minutes at the most to check in with all of the voices that are talking inside you and listen to them and see which of them do not come across in the way that you want to come across. And you know that if you take a, a few quiet moments before you answer, you can answer the way you want to in a kind way and move on. So in certain cases, you may actually want to take, say some evening time or a weekend to write a loving long letter to someone. And this is also legitimate. We humans are on this planet to learn from each other and the reactions that we cause each other. So taking something in depth like that, you can't do it all the time, but it is worth it. I often tell people who apologize to me when they don't respond to one of my emails within 24 or 48 hours, I say just because email is instantaneous does not mean that we need to be. It is still okay to treat electronic communication as real communication. There are emails that you get that it makes sense to do that with to write a longer letter, to really spend the time on it. Most of them, no, it doesn't make sense. 
But in this case, yes, it can make sense. So I want you to give yourself some clarity. Take the time to take a breath and think, which kind of email is this? And what do I want to spend my time on? Remember that your focus is like money. Your focus is like money. You pay attention. What do you want to invest in? What do you want to invest your focus in? And you choose. And your focus is also like water. It can be scattered all over the map or it can be channeled and focused. So I encourage you to make those decisions. Feel very empowered. Feel very wise. Feel compassionate toward yourself first. The emails that will come out, you will be much happier with.